Welcome back. It's that time again already. It is. So what are we doing today? Well, I've got a flick through of the biggest, 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 hugest <laughs> journal I've ever made. <laughs> it is a big book. You've seen me making it over the past couple of weeks. I'm sure we've, you've seen bits and bats as well, I've you, been you've doing You've talked about it. Yeah, I've been talking about it, but it's finally finished today. <laughs> so I've got the flick through of the journal to show you, plus... I've got some new ephemera at the end if you want to have a bash at something like I've made yourself. Oh, lovely. So are we going to have to do this on the kitchen table then? Yes, because there's no way in a million years it will fit in your little space round there. No. It's like a hobbit, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Right, off to the kitchen it is then. As you can see, we have left the studio today and we're in our kitchen. <laughs> the reason being, this journal is so big, you cannot open it on Mike's desk. We need the space. We need the space. So as I think you've, you've seen, I've been doing this for the past month, is it Mike? Three weeks a month? Well, we've mentioned it um, a couple of times, haven't we, in, yeah. in previous vlogs and that kind of stuff. Um, but this is the big lap book yeah. that you've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, so it's now finished. It is, and it measures, so it inches, nine inches by 12 and a half, so it's big. Yeah. And, and how deep is it? Oh, Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> it's four inches deep. Which is a, a, a thick beast. Really, it's the biggest it? journal I've ever made, mm. the most involved I've ever made, and in my and Mike's opinion... The, I, th I think it's one of the best things I've ever made. The best thing I've ever made. <laughs> so I'll go slowly around. So Mike's, Mike's cameraman today. I am being cameraman so, today. So, I mean, look at that material. It's not Tim Holtz. I can't remember who it's by, but it's so... It's, uh, Absolutely. It's Timmy-esque. Timmy-esque. <laughs> but it's much prettier than Tim's, I think. So, and we've got the metal corners. So they're all vintaged as well. Mm -hmm. So I'll just go around. Oh! So there's the spine. It is very wide, isn't it? It is. The elastic you can see is part of the closure on the inside. Yeah, which I we'll might just have to zoom out a little bit. Okay. There we go. Yeah. And then the back as well it is quite heavy let me just zoom in a little bit on the actual fabric itself i'll go slow it's so pretty and let's just hopefully that's in focus so that's the back as you can see you've got birds nests you've got labels you've got vintage photos in there tinted photos there's receipts there's invoices there's little numbers there's, there's a lady. Li there's lilacs. Where's the lady? There's Point a to the lady, lady just up there. Point to the lady over there. Is that a lady sat on a fence? It is a lady sat on a fence. Very nice. But there's all sorts of things with little book plates. As mm. Mike says, it's so pretty. It is. Just turn it over to the front cover. Oh. There we go. And we'll just, just run up and down the front cover again. So again, you've got that lady sat on the fence there. You've got that beautiful kind of landscape photo. There's the photo. little... Illustration. Well, illustration. You've got, the, <laughs> you've got that little bird's nest just there on the top oh, right-hand yeah. corner, which also features again down at the bottom. The repeat's quite, it's quite small on it, which is lovely. Yeah, but there's also a little grouping of, of people in front of like, what, a farm or a barn or something. Oh, there? Yeah. Cold swag machine needles. Yes, so you've also got stamps in there and all sorts, but it's beautiful. It's a really, really nice fabric journal, I think, anyway, right? So let's just... Zoom back out so you can get everything in. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'll put it flat. Oh, or it's flattish. Flattish. <laughs> Mike loves the key. I do. I don't know where it came from. I acquired it. I don't know where it came from. From one of his steampunk friends. I think so, yeah. So it's got the elastic. Metal, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's very, very... It's quite gothic. Oh, let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. So... With it being dark. There you go. Just just that's it. Just tilt it so the light catches it again. There you go. And that's so pretty. Yeah, it's lovely. It is quite gothic actually. Oh yeah. So very nice. So into why do the we book. go? Why do we go again? Okay. So cover is made of medite, three millimetres, so you will never be able to bend it. So wooden covers. Wooden covers. Very, very strong. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yep. Da, da, da. Okay, so as Mike mentioned, it's a lap book. So, but it's also done um, traveller's notebook style, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's got one piece of elastic. The centre section is 
in and then the other two sections clip over the top. Yep, yeah, so the whole lot can be taken out. Yes, it can. So front and back covers, this is French Industrial Tim Holtz. Yep. I just love, love, love these. Okay, so we'll start at the front. So I'll just move over a little bit if that's all right, Mike. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a lot of Priscilla. Priscilla, I think, must have been a magazine in the 1930s in the US. 20s and 30s. 20s and 30s. And you've got little cards. I say little cards. These cards themselves measure four and a half inches by six and a half inches. So they're a... a postcard size. A postcard size, yeah. So I love that one. The mother, well. the mother and child one. So we open it up. And you'll see straight away that you've got a pull out there. Pulled out rather. Lovely. We have when she goes to school. School wear from for the... Uh, yeah, just modern, try and tilt it a bit flatter. That's it. Modern girl of the uh, 1920s or 1910s, <laughs> isn't it? And that's there in some of Mike's lovely envelopes. Oh, yes. the um, Well, we call them bankers' envelopes, but, but they're apparently not, they're not. The washer and string, apparently. Yeah, something like that. Plus, you've got receipts here. And this is an original receipt from London and North Eastern Railway from 1920, 1931. Yeah. So, we've included original pieces of ephemera in here. Not copies. No, these are all... real things. Yeah. And the... Newspaper adverts. All these adverts which are in the background are, are real. real newspaper adverts. They're not reproductions. No, they're, they're real. real ones. So I'll just put that back in there and I'll show you the rest of the pullout on this. And there is some reproduction stuff, but there also is quite a lot of original stuff, isn't there? All the adverts are original, yeah. But I've got something to share with you later, but that's later. So you fold that back and you've got a little section here. Well, hey. And that pulls out. So you've got somewhere to write or journal or stick photos. Are there writing panels on both sides? There are, Mike. Of course yeah. there are. Of course there are. You could even write, if you wanted, on the little flats. Put type some, Use your uh, computer to type some words. Or if it's, if it's a particular person you're remembering. Oh, on the tabs. On the tabs, yeah. So that's there. We open up there, and we have put a fold out there. Again, we've got the Priscilla cards. Lovely. She's gossipy on the phone to her with a bestie. She is. See, these are all Tim Holtz, but we've mixed Tim Holtz with the original, with the vintage illustration stroke adverts. These yep. are obviously reproductions. Yeah. Tim Holtz. Tim's is reproduction, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got panels to write on there. I like the tall, thin panels that you've utilised there as well. Yes. This one is is sort of off the chart. <laughs> now you see, you've got a very, very tall card to write on, and they're not thin. They're they're about a thousand micron those. They're quite thick. Very thick. You can stick photos on the front. The the letters don't mean anything. They're just um, ephemeral. Yeah. They'd be ideal for sticking those photo booth photos on. Yes, oh, oh, yeah, they would. And on the back to journal. Yeah. To say where you were. Yeah. Right. What you was okay. doing. Okay. So we have a panel here. This has got Paris on it. It's got one of the ladies on it. That's a new illustration that you've put together, I hasn't put it? put together, yeah. yeah. So we have a panel there. Wait. We have a panel there. And there, <laughs> and there, but of course you need a note card to write on as well. So you see the size and the complexity of it, with all the panels cut and matted and folded and creased. And it just looks so pretty. That's cool. So that's that one. She goes into that. And then that falls back to that. Then we have... The other side of it, which is the another one of the very tall cards. Which also could be used as a bookmark, couldn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely. A placeholder. Absolutely. That then falls out again to there. I mean, you just we'll... tilt it a little bit in, because we're getting a bit of glare from the, we... the, the outside window. There we go. So we have 
and then again that folds down and then that and folds and then we all have all the way back up. Another card there. These are all different, all the panels are different. Yeah. But all follow the theme. All follow the theme, yeah. And then we're into this one with the modern Priscilla again. They're playing tennis. Playing tennis. All the background papers are different on nearly every page. Mm. Didn't want it to be too regular. Again, we've got the old ads here again. Yeah. I mean, these are silverware. Bendy wants to know what's going on, bless him. <laughs> We're not eating, sweetheart, no. So again, we've got the old... This one's 1931 as well. It's fabulous. London and North Eastern Railway. Yeah. When we look at the writing, the writing's beautiful on its own. Yeah, do you want me to just try and zoom in a little bit on there? Okay. So you can see it a bit better. Yeah. There you go. So like an original railway goods receipt, isn't it? It is, yeah. Used when they were shipping goods from one place to another. The idea of the journal is it's, it's industrial, it's advertising, it's ephemeral, but it's also u utilising lots of very attractive adverts featuring ladies' Absolutely. clothing, etc. from the 30s. Lovely. Okay, what else? Okay, so I'll put that back in there. As I said, original ads again, and we pull out. Again, double sided. Yeah, double sided. <laughs> I'm having to try and follow him with the camera. Sorry, <laughs> I'm going a bit fast, I do apologise. So, cool. double sided. Another one there with some way for you to write. Yeah. Different size Priscilla card this time with rounded corners. Lovely. Distressed? Uh, around the edges, yeah. All the cards are pre-distressed. This is one of my favourite ones, this one. I, I always get Hello Dolly vibes on this one. So do I. Let me just see if we can go in a little bit on that. The one. fashion department, con conducted by Grace Margaret Gould. Fantastic. Love it. Well, hello, Dolly. An afternoon frock in the new buttoned over <laughs> effect, it Lovely. says. Lovely. Again, that's also got the background on to write on. Yep. Fantastic. Okay, so it's in the pocket. Just, just try and get everything back in again. Okay. Yep. We have a, a different. I mean, these ads. I mean, the ads are just stunning. They are great, aren't they? Again, another receipt and an envelope. Yep. And then, of course, we've also got the pullouts. Get the double sided pullouts. Yeah. Let's say each one's, they're all different, they've got different papers on them. Didn't want it to be too regular. It's just the sheer volume of work that's been involved in this, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, yeah, like I said, it's taken you quite a while to I'm do it, to work yeah. it all out. And but then, it's been a labour of love. Oh, I loved it. it. Love doing it, yeah. And that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. These young girls dancing dresses. <laughs> and the, the, the bride. Let me just zoom in on that one. There you go. So you've got the bride. Modern Priscilla, the bride. Very 19. That is definitely 1920s, 1930. Nice, isn't June it? 1930. Yeah. Dorothy Dix praises the homemaker of today. Yeah, you can tell that with the, the head the headwear, can't you? Yeah. The style of the headwear. Again, we have a different. Have a, a fierce looking gentleman on that one. <laughs> Not just ladies in there, are there? No, no, some gentlemen as well. Some bakers here. <laughs> Very good. Okay. And then we've got a, bit, a large one of the ladies. Oop, hang on, let me just start centering on that one. Yeah, okay. And of course we open. Do, 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 and that drops all the way down. We've got writing on both right, sides. Blind papers on both sides, yeah. With the little vignetted illustrations. They're really pretty. And this is lovely the background, the yeah. script and the, the stamps. Uh, Frank in March, rather, not stamps. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Mr. Ben has come in and wonder what you're doing. Then we have another. We'll play with Teddy in a little while. <laughs> oh, bless him. I know. He's just brought, he's brought me Teddy. <laughs> I think this is a really, really nice one. Yeah. So what's that? The new summer aprons. Yes. <laughs> Those ladies 
Obviously going to get really excited by having a summer apron to well, wear. Of course. Gosh. A seasonal apron. Yes. How wonderful. And then of course we open again. I like this one. Okay. Yes, she's holding that golf club rather menacingly. She's, she's going to beat the holy crap out of someone, I think. Bentley, get down, sweetheart. <laughs> He's trying the to boy. persuade me to play with Teddy. He is. I think that's nice, that one. It is lovely. I think a lot of these illustrations are lovely. I think most of them, yeah. They are the well, a lot of them, all of them. All of them. The style is beautiful. And we wouldn't have included them if they were rubbish. No, we wouldn't. Okay, <laughs> and then we go over there. Like the car on that one. Yes. And we have, I like that one. Knitting with the kitten with the ball of wool. Oh. How awfully feminine. That's lovely for cat mums. Yep. Again, we have the writing place on the back. <laughs> and then we have another set of the old adverts. Housewives never fail. Use a delicious catsup. Tomato <laughs> catsup from New York. <laughs> Contained real cats. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> He's just interested to know what's going on. Yes, he is. There we are. Well, this one is memo from JB Scattergood Accounts Office, Lawley Street Station, Birmingham. Mm, lovely. Uh, as consignees are in the pink portion of the GRC Curzon Street, agents should have re entered the above carriage forward. I shall therefore be glad if you will collect and allow early debit. <laughs> so that's it's original from 1931. 1931 threatening letter, but gentlemanly. Polite threatening Polite letters. threatening letters, yes. No final demands there. Again, there. We have the pullouts. Mm -hmm. With the papers. I love the, the different papers in the background. I think they work really well. But I wanted to make sure you could write everywhere in it and give cards everywhere and that kind of thing. So we have... The Lady of the Kitten again. Yep. You see there is a lot of it. I like that one. What's this one? College Girls Hat and Tam. As in Tammy Shanter, I think. Oh, like a, like a big beret. Yes. Selected by I Declare Van Oaken. The drawings in the whole book are by a chap called Emmy Musselman. I don't think it's a Musselman as we have today, but no, no, no. It was his, it was his name, and all the illustrations are by him in the in the in the uh, journal. Fantastic. Okay. Where did that come from? <laughs> Must have been under that one there. It is this one. So you get it's easy to get lost, and then we have just. Another couple more pages with the, the large, the big bookmarky tags, and then of course the pullouts again. The area it, it, it covers is quite staggering actually when you open it out. If you were to open it all out at once, it would be, it would fill a floor. Well, if you took it all to pieces. Yeah, I mean if you were sat with it on your lap, oh yeah, then you could flip bits out, work on it, close it again. Oh yeah, yeah. She's lovely. We just see if we can jump in a little bit. Is she having a drink here? She has, she's having an orange squash, I think. It would be a cordial. Or either that or it's bourbon and she's a lush. <laughs> it's, it's, a very much it's a sneaky gin and orange. Sneaky gin and orange, yeah. <laughs> Hooch and orange. Mm. Lovely stuff. Again, she goes in there. Fold into that. And last but not least, I think we're nearly done. We have the fold outs here. But it's these papers I love with the, the bicycles on and things like that. Oh, yeah. Set it up so you can see. It just all hangs together beautifully. It does. All the panels are vintage and distressed around the edges. Right. They're all Do you want to just talk about the, the card stuff that you've got like yeah. on those pages on the left, Ian? What, what are they? These? Yes. These, all these, uh, the, the brown card is very heavy. I think it's, it's almost a 300 gram craft, craft card. Yeah. Very, very, very thick. The Tim Holtz paper is the Tim Holtz weight that Tim usually uses, which yeah. is a good weight. It is. 
But Would you say that the craft card is the same weight as the tin papers? No. Or probably thicker? It's thicker, a lot thicker. Right, there you I'd go. say it's nearly twice as thick. But what helps is the panels are, are, parchment. All, are all printed on parchment paper, yeah. but they're also stuck on using that double-sided... Um, um, what's it called? The adhesive. The adhesive. So you get extra body with it as well. I mean, the cards themselves, I mean... Yeah. They're, double, a, they're double-sided, but they're sticky in the middle. Yeah, there's a real heavy flick oh, to them, isn't there? They're all... Everything is... is substantial. Substantial. This is an heirloom, really, <laughs> isn't it? It could be. What we got on this one? On this one, you've got the famous actresses. Oh, lovely. And then we have another original. This is from 19, 1931 again. But I loved all the writing on it and the stamps yeah. and the... I mean, to be honest, if you got if you were to purchase this, you could scan these and use them in your, in your journals. Well, yes. Because you own the, the rights, of course, they're originals. Well, it's an original one, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, look at the lovely typography. And then, of course, there's the pull-out. But it's all... None of it is just glued together. Everything is used using... The double-sided polymer or construction tape. Yeah. There's no no glue that's going to peel apart. It's all made to last, and it is incredibly heavy. <laughs> yeah, postage for this is going to be a bit of a doozy. It is, but um, hey, it'll be worth it. And then, of course, at the back you've got your very old receipt. Can we just zoom in on that bride again? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think we zoomed. I'll put her there. Oh. So, I'm sorry, Mike. I do apologise. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. She just elbowed the, uh, the tripod. Sorry. There you, go. there you go. You can see that a bit better now. Well, it didn't make everybody feel a bit queasy then. <laughs> well, you know, you've only done it the once in the entire shooting, so that's not bad. And we've done it all in one take, which is an absolute marvel. There you go. So there's the bride. So she, she sits in there. The pages, as Mike said, will come out if you want to take them out. Yeah, I mean, you literally can take all of the pages out, rearrange them, or add stuff to it. The way know. it works, you have... Let's just make sure I find the full set. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's that one goes there. That's it. So, if, if I just pull that, you will see the elastic moves. Yeah. So you have your centre... Your centre signature mm. then there's a piece of elastic run round and the, the suit just sit in the yeah. sides so like i said they, they do come out and you can change them you can add to them as well um one of the other things with this one with it being so wide the spine being so wide it had to be because the outer parts of it are, are kind of wide because i'll show you when it closes we we'll close it up that's it all that doesn't protrude Past the cover. Yeah. It's all been worked out. But there's plenty of room on the spine end oh, yeah. to add more stuff in. Oh yeah. I mean you could you could put pockets in here. Mm. You could put more pages in. You could add whatever you'd whatever you would like to add. Mm. It's it's up to you. I say this is a one-off, it will not be made again. <laughs> so no matter how many times people ask, no, I'm not making it again. I physically can't because I don't have the old adverts. No. But talking of adverts, we're back in a minute. I want to show you something that I think you'll like to use in your own project. Shall we go up to, um, back into the, the normal room, the normal camera? Yeah, so that is the very large journal. That is on my website at the moment. So there is one off and one off only. First come, first served. But it is probably the nicest thing I have ever made. <laughs> Like nomads, we have moved. We have, we've moved back upstairs into Mike's studio. And I'm sat down now for a change. He has, he, he is, because he's been <laughs> stood up for a while. <laughs> so, as I was saying when I was going through the journal I've just made, that the adverts, the old adverts and sheets of adverts and the um, Priscilla uh, magazine and resources, etc., mm. that I've done some ephemera. Yes. So you can actually um, create your own versions of, if somewhat a little bit smaller. Well, yeah, yeah, you can do a smaller version if you want Okay, to. so we'll go through the, the two packs. So this is the uh, vellum and card. So you just mentioned the magic word there now. I know, you? vellum, printed vellum. It is wonderful, is this? You get a lot in here as well. 
So we'll start off with the cards. I'll just put that to one side. So these are all double sided. Mm -hmm. You've got the. Yeah. Let me just see if I can. Because it's quite. There we go. You can see the um, the grid pattern there. Yeah, you can. It's just it's 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 quite bright. Mm. Are we too bright? Do you think? Mm, no, you can no. never be too bright. No, you can't be too bright. Let me see if I can try and maybe adjust it a little bit. Mid flow. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I think that's done it. That's much better, ladies and gents. So we have the old advertised as a suitcase co suitcase and bag company. Mm -hmm. But I mean they're just wonderful these. Again, so these are scans of those original newspaper advert sheets that we purchased a few years ago. Oh we? they are, yeah. Um, we had we bought a big bulk of these advert papers back from 1889, I think they were 1901, yeah, something, like, something that. like that anyway. There was quite a few and we had them professionally scanned because they were quite large, didn't they? The detail's amazing on yeah. these. You can actually read all the text. <laughs> but I mean there's so many, I think there's two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, sixteen. Six, yeah, sixteen. <laughs> so you get sixteen of this size, which is, Mike, would you be so kind as to measure? I will. I Thank put it you. In old money first. So you have just under four inches by five and a half. So they're a good size. Which in, uh, in new money is ten centimeters by fourteen. I mean, I, I like that one. With the razors. Yeah, but look how pretty they are. And the illustrations are stunning. Yeah. I think the I think one of them appears twice, and that's all. All the rest are individuals. The old hat, birth, marriages and deaths, isn't it? Hat, match and dispatch. Birth is capillary hair fluid. <laughs> How wonderful. That, that's what they call it, isn't it? Birth, hatch, match, match and, and dispatch. dispatch. So births, marriages mm. and obituaries. Yes. So that's the, they're on a 200 gram as well. Mm -hmm. Is it two to 200 gram? It's 200 gram, super smooth. Yep. So that's those, so 16 <laughs> of those. But these are the best ones. The, da, da, da. Vellum, the vellum is just, ooh feels lovely. It is. So this is just printed single side. It is. Because you can see Obviously through it. see straight through it. They are translucent. So you get, I think there's 16 sheets of these as well. They're the same adverts, the larger. Yeah. So these are, just pass yeah, one mate, over and thank I will you. Measure, measure these for you. Thank you. So again, in old money, we're talking just under five and a half by just under seven and a half inches. So in new money, that's 14 centimetres by about 19. Yeah. So they're a decent size. So you get a lot in this pack. Yes. So with these, um, if you're wanting to add these into your journals and that kind of stuff, obviously they're great because you can you, you get to see stuff that's underneath as well with them being translucent, but also they stitch rather well. They do. They take so stitches you, very well. You can sew these in. Because the these end. are heavy, aren't they? Heavy vellum. It's not the cheap, lightweight stuff. No, it's a, well, it, it's about 100 GSM or 110 GSM vellum. I don't know what that is in poundage, sorry, because I don't know what the American uh, equivalent would be, but it's it's thicker than ordinary printer paper. Oh, yes, a lot thicker. But also, the fact, it's vellum and it just feels. Yeah, it feels like, great. Like glassine. So there is 32. Sheets in that. So pack. there's 16 of the larger vellum ones and 16 of the ordinary sized. So, and they're on my uh, website in the junk journalish section. It's all on Ian's website it today. Is. Nothing's on mine. It's all on so Ian. And of that's... course, we will put clickable links in the description area below. So that's the vellum and card. Mm -hmm. And these are the lovely Priscilla bits and bats. I think I, I gave a I gave a quick look at these on the vlog. But people weren't sure what, what it was to do with, so I said I'd show them again. I don't think they're going to see the vlog until yeah. tomorrow. Oh, they're not. So, hey, <laughs> you've seen them all already anyway. So, we have like, the bookmark cards. There's three of those. We have some two-inch roundels as well. Great for envelope seals. Yep. So, there's, I think there's six of those. There's such a lot in this set. We won't have enough table space. <laughs> then we have... Just flick through. Oh, well. Then we have... The card... There's just a single flight like, magazine front cards. But they've all got places to write on the back. Yeah. 
I mean, great if you're a card maker as well, because they're they're small enough for you to fit onto, you know, little cards, thank you cards, that kind of thing. But just imagine if you team those up with the adverts, you'd have a version of the one that I've made, a slightly smaller version. Mm. That's those. I call these the four pages, the booklet effect ones, because... Oh, that little journaling cards. little journaling cards, but right. you open, open them up. up and you've got... And they've got that grid pattern on the inside again, haven't they? They have, I love that, because you can stick photos in there. Yeah, or do bullet journaling. Yeah, yeah. It'd be great for recording people's birthdays and that Two, kind of thing. Three, four, five, six of those. Is that Hello Dolly again? Oh, no. Then we have... The larger ones, so we have three of those. They're, they're, they're my favourites. I think these two are my faves. <laughs> and then we have these. How big are these, Mike, please? Would you have a quick measure for uh, me? Well, again, so these ones in Old Money are three and a half inches by um, just over five inches. So in New Money, that's going to be um, nine centimetres by just over 13. So these are, I mean, they're a great size. So when I mean, you get all that lot in the set there, and it all matches, yeah. so you could actually put them all together. So you've got that, that lovely, lovely vintage feel. You certainly have. So that's me for today. There are my two packs that are on the website, plus the beautiful journal, as I say. The journal is first come, first served, because there is just, just one. <laughs> that's it, it's a woman done. It is, and then there's all this lot on here. This, these are just lovely. I think this Priscilla thing, this Priscilla range is just so pretty. And just so very, very nice. Lovely stuff. Mm. So, are we all done? We are. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. We will see you very, very soon. Bye, Bye for, for now. now. Pretty lovely pile of loveliness. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget to check out your exclusive angel only content over on my website thank you <laughs>